we got some pretty neat stuff in this weekend. I just figured I'd show a video of maybe some of the stuff we got here. Uh, we've got a 1970 Suzuki A50 Stinger. A real neat old bike you don't see too many of. 50cc two-stroke. Um, it's in pretty good shape for being original. Got a nice pipe on it. Uh, super solid gas tank. The motor will run. Um, I haven't tried to get it going yet, but probably this week we will. Uh, it's got, let's see, about... 6,000 miles on it, uh, original. It's a one owner bike with a title. And pretty neat, pretty neat old piece. And the guy bought it for uh, his son. I uh, rode it as an Enduro back in the you know early 1970s and it just kind of sat since then. Um, but it'll be a good little project for somebody. And some of the other stuff we got over here, we've got a uh, 1976 Suzuki GT550 triple. Um, Nice old bike, solid bike. Um, needs some carburetor work. Got a nice set of pipes on it. Again, nice tank, which you don't see too many with good pipes and good tank. Um, she's kicks over and uh, should run without too much trouble. It's a neat old, a neat old piece. Going to make somebody a real nice project. You don't see too many of them around that are unmolested. Uh, I've got another uh, 76 Suzuki GT 550 triple here. Uh, not quite as good a shape, but got a nice set of pipes on it again. Good tank. And the motor will run. Uh, it's missing the carburetors. It's going to need a set of carburetors. So it's pretty, pretty neat. And we just picked up a load from a collector over down here in, uh, in um, Duplin County, North Carolina. And we picked up these couple things here. Uh, we got a XR, I mean an XL70. And I got a nice uh, original owner uh, with title, uh, CL100. Very nice little bike there. Make a very nice project for somebody. Uh, I've got a 1970 Honda uh, CT70 here. It looks pretty good. It needs to be cleaned up and with a little bit of TLC, I think should be a nice little bike for somebody. And I've got a uh, 71 CT90, uh, Trail 90. It looks pretty good. Um, you know, needs a restoration, but a great start for somebody. It's pretty much a complete bike. Um, it's not really missing much of anything. And then the coolest thing that we got here is this 1966 Honda CB450 Black Bomber. Um, you don't see many of these around at all. They were Honda's major failure in the late 1960s and mid-60s. Um, and they didn't stay around long. Uh, they changed the body style on them fairly quickly. This one is um, pretty much an original bike, except for the exhaust pipes are off of a scrambler. It does not have the original pipes, but uh, the rest of the bike looks, you know, pretty good uh, for being the age that it is is and sitting around since uh, the 1984 North Carolina license plate on it sitting in one spot the motor on it does kick over so uh, she kicks over and it's got right at 12,000 miles on it which you know that's a lot of miles to drive between 1966 and 1984 on a motorcycle most bikes that we get don't have over two or three thousand miles on them um, but here's just a closer look at some of the other ones there's again the CT90 and the little Z50, uh, the little uh, CT70, and then the little CL100. Boy, it is a clean, nice original bike. It is really, really nice. Uh, it is 100% complete, 100% original. It's got a nice tank, side covers, seat, and pipe on it. Real nice little bike. Uh, that will run without a problem for sure. And then this little XL70. It's been a little, uh, you know, somebody did a little bit of paint work to it, but. Yeah, otherwise, it'd be a nice little project. It's pretty much complete, missing the headlight assembly off the front of it. But otherwise, it's pretty much all there. I think it even has both little plastic side covers on it, which you don't see too much. So, um, but anyway, guys, that's that's the stuff we picked up this weekend. And I just figured I'd share that with everybody and let you get a little bit closer of a look at some of the stuff. And uh, if you see anything else that you're interested in um, or these bikes, feel free to call me at 252-565. 2212 uh, or you can email me uh, or message me through Facebook and I will get back to you and we handle shipping um, take PayPal cash major credit cards uh, Visa Master Discover no American Express though unfortunately um, and uh, of course USPS money order so anything you're interested in um, don't hesitate to call and we look forward to you know speaking with anyone interested and if anybody knows where there's any old motorcycles or mini bikes or anything around like that uh, we always do pay a finder's fee between $50 and $100 for anything that anyone finds that we get a deal on. Um, so, uh, again, I uh, hope you all have a good, good afternoon or evening, and we'll uh, talk to you soon.